What's up, guys? This is Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down Marquise Hollywood Brown's route running. Today we're going to talk about just some of the routes, just versus air, some of the technical points that he likes to cover in his routes, and we're going to talk about how you guys can use those to improve your game, okay? So let's get started. And also, guys, if you want me to take a look at your film, you want me to break it down just like how I break down Hollywood Brown's routes, check out that link in the description that says submit your film for a breakdown. Become a member on my site. You get access to a private email address where you could submit film to me. I'll give you an audio slash video breakdown and give you drills to improve those specific points you need to work on. Hope to get you guys signed up on that. Let's get started. So first route we're going to be talking about here is he's going to be running a corner post, okay? So now with this corner post, the main thing is your hips, your arms, and how sudden you can make your feet and your speed in and out of the cuts, okay? So let's watch this full speed. Coming off his third inside, breaking into the corner for three hard steps, very sudden with his feet, and he's accelerating out. And also another thing I want to talk about is when he comes off this break and he makes this cut, how he gets right back on a 45. He's not here and he's not rounding this thing out. He's able to get right on a 45 right now and straight across. But let's talk about the first break as well. So main thing is, is we want to make everything about this look corner, right? I want to make everything look corner. I'm pushing vertical. I'm not leaning back. I'm not slowing down right before I get to this break. I'm running in, pop, and then I'm running out. So he comes up here off this third inside step. One, two, pop. And you see how sudden it is. He's not reaching for this break. He's not leaning back. You see how this cut is just underneath his frame. That's what I mean by sudden, and that's where you want to have the weight. You want to have the weight on the inside arch of your foot. So you could drive here, and then you want to rip this right arm and swing that left arm around. You see how he takes this left arm, and it's like he's elbowing somebody behind him. That's how you get your hips around on this 45. It's a little bit different. If you were running an out route, right, you'd really want to swing that arm and rip the right across but you see how because he, he's running on a 45 breaking up to a corner you don't have to swing it as much but ripping this arm through is very important and you see he snaps his eyes around starts to get his shoulders committed for three hard steps and he's very sudden again right you see how quick this thing is you see how it's underneath this frame he's not reaching it's very common for guys to go here and then when he cut they reach and they reach out with this front foot and you notice how he doesn't drag his back foot he's just always running he's picking up his feet that's because he doesn't reach because when you reach you lean back and when you lean back, you drag, and that slows everything down. Everybody loves to make that real long cut, and they drag, and all the turf goes up in the air, right? But that's slow. You're not fast. You're not getting out of the break fast. You want to be sudden. You want to keep your feet underneath you and pick up those knees and run. Now, here's the thing. If you guys aren't maybe comfortable with that, a lot of people drag, and a lot of people slow their speed because they're not comfortable with their body. They don't have enough body control, right? So this is something that you can't just go... Like, so the thing is, is when you work, when I work with my receivers, I don't just have them go out there and we don't just walk up and go run the route, right? We do a lot of drills that work the situations like this. We do a lot of drills to work on picking up my knees and cutting, not just running straight into the route, trying to cut going full speed. That's how you hurt yourself, right? You do drills. That's the whole point of training to build this up, to build up yourself, being able to cut on a dime, being able to keep your feet underneath you, right? So if you struggle with that, I suggest breaking the route down, right? Cut it in half, right? Don't, even, don't just work straight up into a corner post trying to run full speed let's break it down let's just work the post break first and maybe only go off of your second outside step or this corner post maybe only go off your second inside step then progress and you continue to get better and better until we're comfortable being able to cut full speed because that's the goal the goal is not to go out there slow down then cut and make this real long elongated cut the goal is to be smooth in and smooth out of your routes and not lose speed being able to change direction fast and being able to create energy all he's doing right here with this cut is creating energy so he could drive back out and accelerate off this thing and again you see he's pushing here driving that knee and he's ripping this arm across and that's what gets you back on that 45 especially on a corner post it's very important that you get your hips turned and how you get your hips turned is by ripping your arms snapping that head around that's what gets your hips back on this 45 and you see how fast he is out of the break he's pumping those arms and accelerating out and that's how he's able to make this catch let's watch it full speed again one more time so he's coming out here third inside break to the corner one two three run those arms get back on that 45 great route so we're going to be talking about this like out route here with a little bit of a stem to the inside we're mainly going to be focused on his cut at the top here. So stems it inside. This could be working a couple different situations here. Um, so we're not going to focus too much on that, but we're going to mainly focus on after he makes this like pressure step to push back vertical. He's going off of his third inside step. So one, two, pop. 
and you see how it's just sudden. Everything about this makes this route look like it's a vertical, right? That's back, brings me back to my point with that corner post. We want to be running in, and then when I make a cut and I pop, I'm getting out of this thing. I want to make it all look the same. I want to stand up and run in it to the last possible second. I drop my foot in the ground, and then I cut out of there. And also, we're going to talk about how he doesn't drag. So he hits this third step, and I want you to see what does he do with that inside hip or that inside leg. Excuse me. He's very underneath this frame with this cut again. And you see how he's kind of going out. He's not reaching forward. Forward. He's not trying to get to any depth. He's keeping it in stride. He's not trying to break right at 10 yards and get flat. He's trying to just break here and get out of this thing and make sure he gets back on that 90 and come back to this ball. So I think it's very important that when we cut, we're not reaching for anything. We're counting our steps. We're getting this thing in stride. He's throwing a nice head and shoulder fake to it. But when I get out and I want to get flat, because there's a difference between rounding it for a couple steps and then rounding it and drifting. Drifting is what we don't want. We don't want to drift up field on an out route. But we can. It's very unrealistic to think that we're going to be able to run full speed cut and then get straight flat across. You're going to have to take a couple steps, but you see how much his hips turn and you see what he do again he rips that arm back across he kind of has a pause with those arms and they shoot down a little bit i would obviously like to keep those arms running so he could run off of this thing but he shoots him down but then you see how much he's pumping those arms to get him back across and that's what gets his hips around here right so the main goal is when i'm sudden with my feet i gotta push off that inside i can't drag my feet i gotta open up my feet so i'm always running and i gotta snap my head around because that helps by getting your hips turned because if your head snaps around your body's got to come around but your arms can't stop you got to continue to pump those arms so you could accelerate out because if I don't pump my arms and the quarterback puts it here and let's say this is what everybody loves to do they love to make this break right here and then they pop their chest up and then they just start jogging and they cruise right they think okay I got out of this break fast no we got it's a race to this spot and especially when you got a DB like let's say it's an off man or let's say he's trailing you it is a race to this spot so I got to make sure I win that race and I pump my arms and you see how he continues to run out of this break to get to that ball if we're cruising off that thing we don't make that catch Okay, let's watch this thing full speed one more time. This is a great route here coming off and then just pop one stick, third inside step. Make sure you accelerate off the brake. So now we're going to be looking at this whip route here. So we're going to talk about, again, mainly his acceleration and how he's dropping those hips. Okay, so you see when he's coming inside here, he's snapping down to that inside leg, two, three, four. Now. Here's the thing I want to talk about. You guys have probably seen some clips if you watch this page of um, like Keenan Allen or um, like let's say Cole Beasley. They're both running around. And you got to remember this is him rehabbing an injury as well. This is him coming back from I believe it was an ankle injury. I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure you guys know more about that. But um, – He's again, we got to take that into account. But what we want to do on this whip route is when I drop on this inside step, right? Because when he makes this break, he's going one, two, three. You're breaking off that third. You want to drop your hips as violent as you can here. Really try to bring your chin to your knee and you want to hook this opposite leg around. You see how his second step, his toes are facing the sideline. I can't get right back out because you guys have seen it. Like you watch Cole Beasley, watch some of my videos on Cole Beasley, Keenan Allen running a whip. That second step, if it hooks around and you get those toes pointed towards the quarterback and your shin angles are in this 45 degree angle, that can shoot you back out on this route. But because he's here and he breaks down, he has those toes pointed towards the sideline, he has to take two more steps to get his shin angle back to the sideline and that's what shoots him out and he's just got to pump those arms and run out right so again we got to take into account that he's rehabbing an injury here right it's got a little bit harder to drop on a dime like that but that's something that you guys can learn technique wise to eliminate extra steps on a whip route and i want to go fast i want to be as violent like a guillotine like you're dropping a guillotine on a guy that's how violent i want your hips to be you hook that outside leg around and then your shin angles are taking you back out towards the sideline and you rip those arms like hollywood does here he does a good job again of accelerating off this thing and get into this catch let's watch it full speed again that's something you guys can definitely learn from on a whip get out of this thing in two steps okay all right guys i really want to thank you for watching i really appreciate it again if you want to get your film broken down just like this your route running your game film whatever you want to send me i will break it down check out that link in the description and if you guys have any questions please leave those in the comments i'll see you guys next time